a Hollywood actor that became an American hero to many during the 1920s and the 1930s. This man was a stuntman in his early days and then became another iconic star to play a cowboy and even an action star on the silver screen. He is also compared to many actors from old and new. He is Gary Cooper and this is his basic biography. Early Life Gary Cooper, real name Frank James Cooper, was born on 7th of May 1901 in Helena, Montana, USA. Both his parents were born in UK, with his father named Charles Cooper and mother called Alice Cooper. They lived on a ranch in Helena and had stayed there during the early 1900s, with his father having a good job. Both his parents were able to send Gary and his brother to schools in England during the 1910s to 1912. After spending some time in the UK, Gary came back to the US and started to further his education within the United States. He attended high school in the States and even gone on to college, or as I say, university with his course being art, not acting. During his time of education, Gary Cooper worked as a tour guide at the Yellowstone National Park, sharing his knowledge and insight to many guests about the park and even traveling with them. But after his education, he was able to become an artist in the 1920s spending time drawing illustrations for newspapers and even other media at the time. Yet his parents moved to California where they were able to oversee property left by other relatives and even his own relatives. He even had time to stay with them in California. Later on he stated and even started to work for other companies in California. He was able to work as a stuntman in various film uh, productions and even had time to play as an actor in many film productions. Acting career. In the mid 1920s, Gary Cooper had a job as a stuntman and even spent some time on the movie sets, helping actors and even actresses with their movie roles and movie stunts. This helped him get into the acting ladder or onto the acting ladder where he spent time working on shows and even productions with talented actors such as Tom Mix to Ramon Navarro in the 1920s. Playing as an extra and even taking part in small roles in big movies in the silent movie era to movies that involved all genres except westerns. He, his first film role was Dick Turpin, where he played an extra and even had time to work on the stunts for his per first performance, and even had time to star and act in other films. He spent time with horses and even in Western era films and props, where he was able to be classed as a second star um, actor to take, an, uh, take up. Um, a main Hollywood hero character at the same time of Tom Mix. And at the time, Tom Mix was a living legend and Gary Cooper would be his second. Gary Cooper even went as far as being a hero and even working to become an, a national hero and a national treasure of the United States. Later on in the 1920s, Gary Cooper would sign with MGM Studios and become a known actor in most of their productions and even playing more acting roles than taking parts of supporting roles to be a leading actor in more western orientated films and even action films rather than non-western films and even dramas which he spent less of his time acting and even gaining more credits for his stunts and even showmanship 
from silent actor to action star. Gary Cooper's film career excelled as he was able to start work on more film productions and even work on films that had sound rather than being in silent films in the 1920s. The 1930s had made him into a legitimate star of the silver screen by working on mixture of genres from western to war films. Even had a hand on real life movies to dramas, taking part in more performances that led him to winning Academy Awards. In 1937, he was able to walk on the red carpet and be nominated for the movie Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, as he was able to play Mr. Deeds and showing a real-life aspect of the Great Depression on the silver screen. Later on in his film career, Gary Cooper was able to still work on westerns and signed more pictures and even picture deals with Paramount, Warner Brothers and MGM. He started to become more of a war hero in movies that relate to Second World War and even due to his action movie credits, he was able to win Academy Awards for his war films. One war film called Sergeant York, where he played Alvin C. York and even able to become a legitimate action star. But yet this film was related to World War I rather than World War II, which hope, help, hopefully opened doors for him to become an American hero. He had sometimes appeared on television uh, during the 1950s and worked with more notable actors such as Charlton Heston and Richard Harris at the time. His last an ever film role was The Naked Edge in 1961. Yet, before then, he was able to take other action roles and even lead on to becoming a more of a aged action hero rather than a young action hero. Personal Life and Final Years Gary Cooper only married once and his wife was Veronica Balith. They both had a child together, and their relationship lasted from 1933 to 1961. Outside of Hollywood, Gary kept his personal life and Hollywood life separate, by spending more time with his family and sometimes going on to trips with them, and being a father to his daughter. Yet, in the Hollywood side of life, he would spend time with other women and actresses that were more friendship orientated rather than personal, as these actors, actors and actresses that he would spend time with would be on his leading roles and even his bigger roles in the late 1950s to 1960s. Sometimes he would spend time sharing his opinions with uh, politics and even politicians and even believed in the American way with his views on communism at the time as well as taking part in other things outside of Hollywood. He believed that the American way is conservative and even uh, relates to being a patriot. He even spent time with other actors, becoming a well-known celebrity to other Western actors and stars such as John Wayne, and even spent time collaborating with James Stewart and singer Frank Sinatra during the 1950s until his death in the 1960s. Legacy of an American Hero Gary Cooper died of cancer on 13th of May 1961 at the age of 60 years old in Los Angeles, California. He was remembered by many actors, singers and even political members in his time and even still classed as a primary example of an American hero even till today. He was an explorer, cowboy, a war hero, mentor and even highest earning actor in Hollywood at one point. He even was compared with both Clint Eastwood and even Tom Cruise. He at one point was able to go up against Clark Gable, another actor in his era.
he was able to work with other big name stars in big westerns and even met great people in his life. He had a very good lifestyle in Hollywood and even classed as a superstar in front of every other Hollywood actor and even people who were watching his movies during the 1930s to the 1960s. Having some actors today taking some of his style of acting in modern movies, such as Chris, Pry- uh, Chris Pratt, sorry, was able to use some of Gary Cooper's style of Western style acting within his movies, in such as the me- remake of Magnificent Seven. Yet Gary Cooper still has his acting career and his acting presence living on till today. Now, thank you for watching this video, and even please subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm Suki Cookie, and please do stay tuned in, and even watch more of my videos. I am also want to become a YouTube star, so please, subscriptions and even subscribing, and please keep being notified, would be great for me to have this as an uh, option. And please, have time to look at my other videos again and again. If you need to. But um, uh, this is me, Suki Cookie, and thanks for watching.